Hi, my name's Teresa and this is my channel, Homestead Life, and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I'm going to be making some homemade ham pies and they're cheater style. So I'm not gonna be making the crust from scratch or the insides from scratch, but I'm gonna be making a nice little treat that uh, you can take with you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by opening up the pie crust. These pie crusts, um, these are the Pillsbury pie crusts and these are the equivalent of four packages. Um, I did get a large package at Costco that had all of these in there, um, which is why I decided to make them using this. The one time I don't have my scissors out. I've never understood why they make these so hard to get into. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by cutting out these are actually warm, which they're supposed to be. So let's see if I can get these apart without tearing them apart too badly. And we are going to be making um, six four inch rounds. Now I couldn't find my cookie um, cutter and I couldn't find my biscuit cutter. So the next best thing is to find a glass that is approximately the same size. And so I was able to find one of my mugs here, which is the exact size that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut out a total of six of these and kind of set them aside. Now we may have to actually roll this together, roll some out. Um, let's see, we'll see how many we can get. Trying to keep these in a good, good way so that we have one, two, three, four. Yes, I can count. Five. And then we'll roll out some more. And I'm just gonna kind of put these aside for the moment. Got my little baking mat here just to make it easier on me. And we're gonna see how many we can get up here because I'm going to open up another one. You should be able to get quite a few. These are a lot like things you might get, say if you go to um, a takeout restaurant or some fast food restaurants to have things like this. Um, I kind of, you, well, actually even Little Debbie or, you know, you can buy those kind of things at the store, but this, at least you know you're controlling the ingredients. One of the things that you could do is if you want to do this from scratch is you could make a nice pie crust and do this yourself um, without having this already made. And you could also make the filling. Now the filling I'll get to here in just a second, but what we're using is just some pie filling from the grocery store. I've elected to do um, peach and apple. So peach is my favorite, apple is my husband's favorite. So I thought that would be a nice treat for him when he got home to have a nice warm hand pie. And with the day the way it's worked, it looks like it's gonna be in the evening that I'm gonna be done. So I just wanted to go ahead and cut out as many of these as possible. I will just put this in a ball so that I can roll it out. Guess it would have been helpful if I would have gotten my rolling pin out at the same time, right? Okay, rolling pin, here we go. And I'll try to make it about the same width as these other but who knows, we'll see. I love this rolling pin because things really don't stick to it. So you don't have to really plow it or anything like that. So this is looking pretty good there for the thickness.
just to make life easier. I'm gonna go ahead and aside for just a minute so that we can get some more. And I'll be back once these are all rolled up. So now this is the equivalent of one batch. I'm doing two different batches. Not as sticky as it once was to this thing. I think I've used it too much. Maybe something like that. I might have to get a better one of these little sticky mats. Yeah, because that's a little thicker. It's okay. It's okay. All right, now that we have all of our um, dough ready, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the peaches. And I'm gonna just take a can of pie filling and I'm gonna go ahead and just open it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a um, bowl. And the reason for that is that we're gonna want to slice the peaches down, because they're awfully big, right? And if we try to put all of this in here, and you'll hear a dog come running here. Because I opened a can. 
Must be for them, right? deliciousness in here that's in the can and we are going to then get a knife and I should probably at this point while I'm working on it go ahead and start the oven and I'm going to put that at 425 work for us while we're doing this right okay so what I'm gonna do is just kind of slice through the peaches to make them a little bit more bite size because again when we're putting them in the pies we're gonna be folding the pie over so the smaller the peaches the better now you can do this with any kind of pie um, filling. You can make strawberry, you can make cherry, but whatever you're gonna use, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's definitely um, smaller bite sizes. And because this pie filling is already basically pre-cooked, these peaches are really easy to just kinda dice up in this bowl. Okay, now what I'm going to do is kind of give this a good little mix and stir and make sure that it looks like it's where it should be and I think we're pretty good. Forgot to get a little thing of water. And the reason for that is that's going to help us seal our um, hand like I said, we're going to start with peach. So now this, this one's a little bit unusual size because that actually um, was the leftover last piece. What I'm going to do is just put a little bit of filling in here. I don't want to overflow it or overfill it. And then I'm going to fold it over. Now I'm going to go ahead and when I fold it over, let me get, let me get my little pastry thing here. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water around here. So that will help me seal it. And I'm just gonna kind of crimp it here a little bit. This is gonna be a nice little, a little hand pie. As you can see, I had a little bit too much in there. And that's because this one was a little bit larger. And I'm ahead of myself. So I forgot to line one of my cookie sheets with parchment. So let's do that real quick. This is what happens when you try to bake at the end of the day. Some things kind of get lost. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this again for each one of these hand pies. Just going to put about a tablespoon maybe of, of uh, filling in there and then try to get a little bit of water around the edges and it's, it's okay if it's not perfect. I'm not going for, I'm not going for the best looking thing. I'm going for something that's going to taste good. Now I could have made these a little bit bigger. These are going to be like mini, mini pies. The other thing that I could do, if I wanted to, is I could put two of these pies together and I think I might, because that might be a better thing. Now this one I can actually, it's a little thick. So this one I'm gonna spread out a little bit more. Spread it out more than that. I don't care that it's not perfect. I'm more looking for the taste than I am the actual aesthetic of the pie. And once we're done, we're going to take um, egg white wash 
and wash each and every one of these. Just fold these over. Yeah, it would have been easier if I didn't do something so tiny. That's what I get for following the recipe, right? Okay. So I'm going to actually see if I can maybe get this a little bigger. That one's not as thick. So these will be not necessarily hand pies, more like a finger pie, but Let me grab just another little thing here. Try to get some water around there to help seal it. Okay, this is the first time I've made this recipe, so We'll see how this goes. That one was a little too thin. So maybe thinness isn't a good thing. Okay. Let me play around with this. There's nobody that says I can't do maybe two of these together. But because to me, this is just almost too tiny. So let, let's try that. There's nothing wrong with modifying something on the fly, so let's try it. These are teeny, 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 tiny. Nothing like learning as you go. So next time, on these other pies, on, on the apple, I think I'm gonna make them a different size altogether. I think I'm going to do something way different. Unless I figure out, whoops. Okay. Yeah, the apple, we're gonna have something totally different on that because that doesn't make any sense to do it this way. I think we just need to get creative. And I can think that other one was a good size. So. I really wish I didn't have nails, and this is one of them, and it's rare that I wish I didn't have nails, so usually nails help me find instead of get in my way. Perfect in baking as far as the 
this. As long as it comes out tasty, that's the most important piece. The guarantee these will last long. I know for sure the apples won't. parchment lining going here. Alright. Like the parchment is going to listen, right? Alright. Feels like just an assembly line right now. actually for me teeny tiny pies like this are actually perfect because I don't eat a lot so something like this would be a perfect little treat for me okay I'm almost getting into a little bit of a rhythm sort of I'm almost out of filling so, hmm, makes me wonder. Because I also have some cherry back here. So, you know, if I, I was hoping to do three different kinds, but. I definitely think that, that I should do these bigger. Gonna go ahead and finish this one out the peach with these smaller ones and then which is just like one more and then I'm gonna put all of this together and wipe this down and do something a little bit bigger I think that'll make more sense do this a little differently. So my dogs will be happy because I'm putting some of this on the ground. Okay, I am going to do things just a bit different for the, um, for the uh, apple. So let's just go ahead and open the apple. Get this out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and see what that looks like. On the inside here, yeah, those are some pretty big apple pieces. So we're going to do the same thing in here. We're going to slice these up. on the recipe that I have was to use a cookie scoop for your filling and I think that might be just a little too much for those little sizes and it was saying to fold them in half so 
This is why sometimes when you're doing a recipe, you have to make modifications. I don't know if whoever wrote this recipe, um, if they were just guessing what size on the, the um, rounds. But, okay, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Now I've already, this is dry okay so I'm gonna put this all together because now that we're out of of stuff for the peach I'm gonna put this all together and I'm gonna roll this out I'm gonna try something this may or may not work well but let's see okay because I'm thinking we need something a little bit more along the size of I hate that it does that of a, one of these other rounds which is fine we can figure it out definitely think I'm going to have to get a different baking mat though this mat just is not being friendly. Okay, so I have an idea. I think this is more along the size of what I want. Let's try it, see if this works. Because this looks much more like the right size to me to be able to put filling in. See, that looks a lot better to me. And then being able to tuck this over. See, that looks much better to me. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's more of a winner. And I think my husband will like that better too. Okay, so let me open these. Because the other one, those are like bite size. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and that'll be perfect for me. But let's make him some man size. King size for the king. Don't tell him I called him a king. It'll go to his head. Okay. All right. Let's roll this out. And I think that I can probably get a couple of these on here. Maybe, we'll see. I might have to actually use a knife on these, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get another one on here. I think I can. Almost. Let's get this fold up just a little bit more, see if I can. Well, it's gonna be close, which is fine. There's just a little bit different there. I'm liking the look of that a lot better, to be honest with you. I'm thinking that's more what I was what I was envisioning when um, I actually found this recipe. Now I 
done something similar in years past, like a long time ago. But we made them square. And it was made out of, you know, obviously I, I made homemade dough with it. So this is a whole nut new experience. Which it's always nice to have new experiences. Let's start with this. Let me don't want a sharp knife. I wouldn't mind having a little knife. If I get this all done and we have some extra, I might even be able to do it, do some cherry. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm sure I can figure out something to do with that, those cherries. were definitely not as easy to kind of chop up as the um, peaches were but that's okay we'll work with it okay another place over here and then we'll go to our next ones And leave it to me to double the batch on something new that I'm doing. not everything turns out the way that you intend when you start to make something and it's all about learning how to do things on the fly right now the next time I make these obviously I will probably make them more than likely with my own dough uh, my own homemade dough and when I do that, I 
think I'm gonna experiment with some different shapes. I think I'm gonna go back to the ones I remember making years ago where I did the squares. I they were more like, you did a square and then you folded them into a triangle. Um, and those seemed to work really well back then, so I can only assume they would do the same now. Okay. Make this nice and full of apples. My husband just loves apples. Okay, come on. Okay, this may not be round, this very last one, but I think it'll be good. Okay. All right, let me get all of these goodies in there. Put this over by the sink. And let's tuck this together. Oops, I didn't use water. Oh, well, it's okay. This one is going to be the odd duck. It's going to look a little weird. It's going to be a little different. It is the last one of the apple. Okay. So. Let's clear some of this out of the way. And now, I guess let's go ahead and do cherry, because I think we've got enough to do cherry. So, opening up the can of cherry. And I will need another bowl. And another spoon. I used to have all my spoons right here. I think I need to put them back. The nice thing about cherry is you don't really need to cut them. And if I have any left over, and we don't use all this soy, that's fine because I'm planning on making a cheesecake. I have another can, but I'm gonna make a cheesecake as well this week. So I can always use it for topping. Or something chocolate cherry, sounds good too. Okay, so now let's go with these last two and see what we come up with. I'm gonna do something a little different so that we know one is cherry versus um, the others. And not quite sure yet what. I'll figure something out. Oh, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. How about this? How about if I cut them in fourths? Kind of like this. And then I can make the pies this way. That'll be totally different than the other. So we'll know for sure Oops, that was a little much. Let's see here. Maybe that's a little too much filling, but. It's a learning experience. there in 
outside, inside. Yeah, that was a little too much, but that's okay. Okay. That will obviously be cherry. This may be one. Two, I think, is enough. Oops. Lost the cherry. Too bad. Okay, so maybe not two, maybe one and a half. One. to get to a couple of other projects tonight. I don't know if I'm going to yet or not. Um, we'll see. I've been in a baking mood all day. Unfortunately, life got in the way. Right, that one is so great. Okay. Last one. use these very often. I like to make my own pie crust typically, but sometimes this is just a little bit easier. Okay. Start with this one closest to me. And do just a little bit more than one and a half. Okay, that one's not too bad. get an egg wash going really quick. So I'm gonna take just the egg white is all I want. So let's see if I can do this without the yolk. Oops, I'm close, I'm close. There we go. Get this up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna wash all of these and I'm gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes or until they're brown. Um, just kind of a nice golden color. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to make, or while they're cooking, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the frosting that goes on top. 
and that's really an easy, quick kind of thing to throw together. And then these will be complete. I'm hoping they turn out good. It's not like it was a ton of work, but it was definitely a little bit of effort on my part here. And learning curve. We're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. Pick up some of this mess. And the next thing we're going to do is it is, I gotta look at my little sheet sheet. Two and a half cups to a quarter cup. Okay, so two and a half cups powdered sugar. We're gonna measure that out. Oh, come on. Okay, so basically, Two and a half. Powdered sugar. Two quarter cup of milk. We may need to do just a little bit more milk. All right, so now I'm going to whisk this together. Powdered sugar is always a nice, fun mess. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to want just maybe just a, no, 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 no. Just a splash, just a teeny, teeny. Maybe just a little, little bit. So it's super thick. Okay, now there we have our topping to drizzle over as soon as it gets out of the oven. So we'll be back as soon as everything's cooked. Now that the pies are done, I'm gonna go ahead and take our, uh, I have these cooling racks and So I'm going to go ahead and put them there, bring the pies over. Bring the pies over here. I want to put them on the cooling racks. And when we go to glaze them, I'm going to glaze them on these racks as well. I'm going to put them back over our pan and just let our pan catch. to 
let this sit for just a minute. I'm gonna whisk up our sauce again. It does say in the recipe for you to kind of put the pie in there and spin it, kind of flip it. I don't think I wanna do that. I think that might be a little too much, but let me just make this a little thinner because while it was sitting there, it kind of thickened up. And I wanted to definitely thin it out a little bit because I thought it was just too much. Okay. Now the recipe suggests placing the pie in here and flipping it with fork couple of times and putting it back on the cookie sheet. I'm going to try it just once just to see how that goes. Some of these little little ones. Okay, so flip, flip. I don't know, that might be too much sweet. I don't know. I mean, I like sweets, but it may be a little too sweet. Oops, I just forked it. At least with this, it will let some of the excess drip. Maybe I will continue on this little path of flipping in the dough, or I mean the, in the frosting. So far, it's not too bad. Let's try one of these other ones here. It's like a lot of sugar. I'm not someone who eats a lot of sugar, so. Uh, my husband, on the other hand, he has quite the sweet tooth. Kind of hoping to finish this before he gets home. Otherwise, you guys will get to hear how the dogs really go off when daddy arrives home. I won't say that name too loud because they'll think he's here. Okay. That's definitely... Probably should have marked on the parchment or something what which ones were which I mean obviously the strawberry will be easy I think that the peach will be easy I think all of these are roughly the apple So I don't mean to spin that again. These are still slightly warm, but they're not like super hot. So hopefully here in just a second, I'll be able to take the cherry off do that really quick. Stay put. Okay. Where is my... There we go. Because I like these to cool some. Some of these bigger ones I may not... Um, these ones I probably won't dip probably take these ones and just um, pour that pour it over that was hot Let's 
see if I can put three on here, three more. I think I might be able to. Maybe. These quarters. Let's let this kind of cool a little bit while we continue the rest. Excuse me. The dog that's like, oh yay, mom's got food. These are the peach ones. And as you can see, they kind of um, came out of the, some of the, the filling is trying to escape, I guess you could say, which is fine. I mean, this is a, a learning process. So the next time I do this, because there will be a next time. I'm trying to get away from, um, buying different desserts at the store and actually um, making them at home. That way I kind of know what's in them. And obviously these aren't like super healthy, but at the end of the day, if I'm gonna have something sweet and I know what's in it, I can feel a little bit better about it. might have to make some more frosting. Which is fine, I can do that. It's not like I don't have enough ingredients. Use the dog in the bowl right there. The bowl's right underneath the camera. So. Okay, I think I'm gonna definitely need to make some more here. So, let me grab my measuring cups. Need to get some new measuring cups. I've had these for a while. And while they're cool and colorful, I'd rather have some, some stainless steel ones, to be honest. Keep my workspace as open as possible. Okay, let's see how this mixes out. I might need some more. Oops. Just dust it with some more uh, powdered sugar. Just a tad. There we go. Perfect. Glad the dogs didn't just think I was knocking at the door. Okay.
until these ones have cooled off a little bit more. This is actually pretty easy to spin. Ah, shoot. Oh well, that one broke in half, that's okay. We're okay with that. Can't be perfect. need to get in, get glazed, and get out. Don't let it sit there too long either. Okay. If I have some leftover, I might redo those others because they were super warm when um, I put them in. And it looks like they kind of uh, melted a lot of that off. Oops. Trying not to make a mess. Although baking is messy. Baking and cooking. Yeah, when I say the word oops, you see, ah, oh, shoot, this one come running. I made a mess with that one. Okay, so I broke two. That's not bad. Not too bad. Alrighty. No, 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 no. Ah, shoot. Okay. These bigger ones are not, oh crap, they're not gonna work that way. And yes, I noticed I did not have them on my, on the sheet. So that's going to be a little bit messy. All right, hold on there, guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the rest of this is, I'm gonna pour the stuff over it. So I'm going to just take some of this frosting on these bigger ones and just kind of pour the glaze over. I think that's sufficient because if it's too big, it's not, it's not gonna flip in there. This is much better to do with these. Alrighty. Okay. All right. So here we have our finished product. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit or actually just move it. Wipe down our counter really quick. Here we have our finished product, a bunch of hand pies. So I'm gonna have to try one of these here and I'm gonna try one of these ones that are broken to just see how it is. This 
this is a peach. Mm. This is really good. Still even a little bit warm inside. So once that outer coating sets up, it'll be really good. See, it's falling apart because it's so warm. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I hope to see you again soon.